All right, students, let's talk about Newton's third law. It sounds very catchy, but let's see if you really understand it, okay? Here we have the glove punching the cheek rightward, which means the cheek must be punching the glove leftward. These two forces are equal but opposite, but of course, uh, the cheek feels more pain. Here we have the boot kicking the ball upward, which means the ball must be kicking the boot downward. Again, these two forces are equal but opposite, but uh, the resulting acceleration is not. The hand is pulling the rope rightward, which means the rope must be pulling the hand leftward. In fact, you, you can't pull the rope without the rope pulling you. The shoe is rubbing the floor backward, which means the floor is rubbing the shoe forward. This is how we walk ourselves forward. The scale is pushing the man upward. And this happens only if the man is pushing the scale downward. These are the normal contact forces between the man and the scale. But what about the weight? The earth is pulling the man downward, which means the man is pulling the earth upward. Yep, that's right. You, you are pulling the earth upward right now, exactly as hard as the earth is pulling you downward. So there you are, action-reaction pair, two equal but opposite forces between two objects, which must exist together and which cannot exist without the other. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!